Q106.5. Straight from Nashville. It's country music news. Jason Aldean is gearing up for his next chapter musically. I I saw this and I was like, are you serious? Yeah. There, there's there's so many more potential singles on that album. Well, I it's always we nice go. to have something else in the can, though. I guess so. Shared a snapshot of himself in the studio yesterday wearing headphones and smiling in front of a microphone. <laughs> And music, much like we all do every yeah. day. Yeah. yeah. Wear headphones and smile. Yeah. Uh, in the caption, Jason lets fans know they can expect to hear new music soon. Quote, back in the studio today working on album 10. That was all the details he gave. Uh, nine, of course, is his latest uh, album. Right. Uh, got What I Got is his uh, hit currently. Mm-hmm. I think that went to number one on radio this week, actually. I have to check. Uh, the, don't quote me it, on it. But. Yeah, it depends on the chart. The like, media based chart. Yeah, says um, it's at number one. Um, it's either that or Tim McGraw. I call something Mama. like that. There you go. Uh, just <laughs> days before season nineteen of The Voice premieres, the show's coach is gearing up to return to the iconic red chairs, and uh, uh, Gwen Stefani and Kelly Clarkson have really bonded. They have a lot in common. They've both gone through the painful experience of getting divorced in the public eye, and they shared experience of heartbreak that have brought them closer together, which is, that's kind of like, for me, I would think that would be your escape to go to work and kind of escape that, not to sit and bond over it. Yeah, but but always nice to have someone to talk to Mm. about it who's Mm. been through it as well. Yeah, when you're away from work, <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I hear you. With those two making a little bond, this is going to be an interesting season. Exactly. Yeah. Blake. Poor yes. Blake. <laughs> <laughs> we can finally feel bad for him a little bit. Yeah, just a tad. I hear you. Uh, Luke Bryan's mother, LeClaire Bryan, thought she was spending her birthday alone. Uh, but the singer and his entire family made sure that did not happen. You knew it was going to happen, right? I saw it on his social, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, videos, photos posted on Instagram uh, uh, from Carolyn, uh, Caroline, uh, uh, Luke's wife, and also from LeClaire's mother. Uh, the Nashville-based uh, clan drove down to – she lives in Mexico Beach, Florida – and uh, unannounced, so yeah. they do that. Yeah, nice. I remember one time visiting my uh, parents, and at the top of the street, I stopped at a, this is how long ago it was at a phone booth, and, and called my mom and said, "Hey, mom, I'm thinking of coming up there this weekend. What do you guys got going on? Oh no, it'd be great to see you." And two minutes later, I'm at the door. <laughs> ah, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, my mother used to pull that prank a lot with one of her grandchild. She'd fly to where where my youngest brothers uh, she they bonded really well and she'd fly there and visit unannounced yeah you know i mean the <laughs> my brother knew but the, but the kid didn't doesn't know. leave you a lot of time to clean up yeah exactly <laughs> no but no the family knew just just their daughter didn't know <laughs> All right. Boy, can I get off topic. (laughs) More at tasteofcountry.com and q1065.fm.